beautiful day viewers you are welcome to my channel you are welcome to do my solution channel you are welcome to a home when nothing is important today is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in this yes before i start please for those of you that are joining us for the first time you are highly welcome you are welcome to Jumai Solution Center. You are welcome to a home where nothing is impossible before the Almighty, before the Almighty God, who owns the heavens and earth. I have been hearing this and I've been seeing it. I've been listening to a lot of testimony from friends and well wishers. Some are saying that where is God? God remain in his on his exalted throne. He come because of you and come down from there. Please shall we pray? Father in Jesus' name. Job said, I have heard of thy power. I have heard of thy power. And I have seen your miracle, your handwork. Father, as many that hope and they believe on the trust in you, and they believe in you, and they connect to my channel, Lord, give them a surprise package this week in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the God that nothing take you unaware. Nothing is impossible unto you. You are the God of all flesh. As many, O oh Lord, that look up unto you, but I give them a surprise package in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit all my friends all over the world, I commit them into your hands, O oh Lord. Father, perfect their ways. For those that has one thing or the other, that people are owing them, and they humbly refuse to pay them, Oh God, arise, disgrace them in the name of Jesus Christ. Either they pay or they receive angelic slap in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, right now, let me go straight to what brought me here today. I want to talk about the dark power. I want to talk about the dark power. How can we come out of dark power? There is a semi crusade I heard. In, in Kogi State last month. Semi, I call it semi crusade. I don't even want, I only want to pray with two or three people in a family. But lo and behold, people begin to hear about me. They start coming. One, 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 one. Before we know, there are more than 100 at this spot. As the Holy Spirit is moving, I can't even say, let me video what I did. But I want to give you the clue of what happened on that crusade. Yes, some lady there has been tied up by an evil spirit. Very beautiful. When you look at them, very beautiful. There's some say they are from Delta. No one knows where they come from. But at that junction, I say, when I look at them in the spirit train, two came from Ibadan. Only one that came from Delta. But all of them dressed the same. And the devil make arrangement, bound all of them together. I give them one name. What is that their name? Dark power. Dark power. These girls were swimming, enjoying what they are passing through. Please, I want to bring this to your notice. You know this. You know this. This is pure white hand. Yes. This is pure white hand. If you have faith, like most have said, I want you to carry out this assignment along with me. Carry this assignment out. When you get your white handkerchief like this, please, if you have an anointing in your house, anoint the tip of it 
I didn't say you anoint everything. Just anoint. Dip this one inside your anointing oil. Dip this inside the anointing oil like this. I'll tell you what to do. Dark power. These ladies, they believe they don't put anything, put on anything that is white. They dress in black or red. That's why you see me with my own red today. I want to prove to them that any power they thought they are in, my is bigger than their own. Because I fear no evil. Because God says to me, even though I'm walking through the shadow of, of the, the shadow of valley of death, I fear no evil. Because no power can temper with me. If, if they like, let them try. Because there is flesh in me. But the spirit in me, great is he that he that is in the world. Yes. You see, after you make use of this, dip it into the anointing oil. Then hold this part like this, where you drop into the anointing oil. And you allow the anointing oil to drop in your, on your head. Allow the anointing oil to drop on your head. After it drop on your head, that is the anointing that break the yoke. Anointing that finish up the work of the enemy from the dark power. How to set yourself free from dark power. If you are the type that have, you know, when you go out, anything that has to do with you, destiny is started from your head. If the head is not there, the body will be sick. If anything should affect the head, the whole body will be sick. So, that is why I came up here with good news. Anoint your head against the dark power. It's pain no body. This dark power that I saw that have invaded these children, these three girls, two from Bado, one from Delta. The character they display on, on the crusade, when, I, when, the, when the Spirit of the Lord cut them, do you know what they said? They said they were sent from the kingdom of darkness, that they came up here with dark. Power. And they want to destroy anything. That is why you see Christian praying, praying, praying as if God is not answering. You will pray and pray and pray and pray as if there is no God at all. So says who? That there is no God. There is God. There is God. Anyone that look at you and say there is no God, tell the person you are a great liar. You are just a great liar. There is still God. He can't because of you and me and change his name. He's God and he's ever God. Anoint yourself. As you anoint yourself, call upon the power of the Lord to possess you. When you anoint yourself, the power that cannot be insulted, possess me in the name of Jesus Christ. Power of God that cannot be insulted, possess me, possess me. Possess me in the name of Jesus Christ. And anywhere you go, favor will follow you. Anywhere you go, favor will be your next connection. And every minute you are going out of your side, pray for divine connection. Divine connection. If it is only one person, that is my prayer. As if it is only one person that is meant to be blessed, Lord, let it be me. Let it be me. So as I'm going out, let your presence go with me. Moses said to God, when God called him to go and bring out the children of Israel, he said, God, if you are not going with me, I'm not going anywhere. And what happened? God went with him. And this is what they call apron. As you use it for your mental, please don't throw it away. Don't just wash it. Use it to tight your neck. Yes. For those of you that have short neck like me, use it to tight your neck. Yes. And if you have big neck like my own too, please use it to put it inside your clothes like this. Yes. As you put it like this, it's just like as if you are carrying the you are carrying the protector. That one bullet is shot. Hardly the bullet will okay. Yes. When you find yourself in an evil environment, because of this your heart that you are carried, hardly you were kidnapped. Yes. 
just give it a try. God bless you as you try this. I love you. Jesus loves you more than I do. Please have to come out of that power and favor that be yours. Testimony, I'm waiting for your testimony. I know somebody will be blessed. This kind of kind of uh, teaching will not go for free. That somebody will not be blessed. You will be the first to be blessed. As you give me thumbs up, as you are passing by and you subscribe to this channel, you will be the first to give me thumbs up. You will be the first that God will elevate. If anyone is on you, please write their name down on the pieces of paper. Get their name down on the pieces of paper. Then make sure you anoint it and pray. Then wave it. Hmm? Wave it back to God. Every morning, say, God, remember me. These are the people that put me into this trouble. Please, touch them until they face me. You will see. You will testify. Don't say you will not testify. God bless you. I love you so much. Remain blessed until we meet again. Best I yet to come out of me. I remain your lawyer. Mommy, auntie.